Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Welcome back everyone. In this module, we're going to look at inserting notes and comments. Now, you may be thinking, that's easy. Just add a column and write your notes and your comments in the cells. I like the way you're thinking. You could absolutely do that. But I'm going to show you these two built-in features that may make it even easier for you, whether the Google Sheet is just for you or you're collaborating with others on that sheet. So let's get started. Here we are in the recipe book that we've been building. Let's use our grouping feature to go ahead and hide the ingredients and the directions so that we can get a better view of our recipe book. Remember, that's that little dash or minus icon that's close to the top, and then the plus icon means to open. And there we go, much better. Now, let's say that these times listed here are the times we got directly from the recipe's original location. But after doing the recipe a few times, we have found that it's taking either less time or maybe it's taking more time. There are a couple ways that we can add notes and comments to keep track of that. When we add notes and comments in Google Sheets, there are three ways. You can use the insert menu. You can right click on the cell and a menu appears, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to look at all three. First, let's click the insert menu and at the bottom, you will see comment and note. Not only that, you'll see the keyboard shortcuts that are listed. It knows that I'm on a Mac right now, so it's listing the shortcuts for me. But remember, they are different if you're on a PC or some other type of device. What I'm going to do is select this first option, which is note. This little white box pops up beside of the cell that I was on and it says type here. So let's type something. I'm going to say that this recipe takes 30 minutes for me. Now, here's something you have to remember that's special about the notes. If you press enter, you'll just get a new line. Unlike you're typing in cells, if you're typing in cells and you pressed enter, it takes you to a whole new cell. So you'll have to actually click somewhere on the sheet to get out of this note. That is the opposite of what you do with cells. So just try to keep that in mind and you'll find your flow using these two. So click anywhere and there you go. Notice that the cell where the note is now has that black triangle in the top right corner. Does that look familiar to you? It's kind of like that orange red one that appeared when we had invalid data with our check boxes. So just like those warnings, if you hover over the cell, the note appears move away and the note disappears. So I love notes because they can hide information that we don't necessarily need to see all over our data, but when we hover, it appears. Let's repeat that process. I can click insert or we can use the keyboard shortcuts, which remember are listed here based on the type of device that you're on. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut and there we go. I'm going to say that these bytes take about two hours. Remember to not press enter to exit. You'll need to click on another cell to actually exit out of the note. There we go. And let's repeat this process again, but this time I'm going to right click on the cell and then I'm going to select insert note from the menu that appears. And there we go. I've added that note. Click anywhere outside of that to get out of the note. And so that was all three ways for us to add a note. You can use the insert menu, you can right click on the cell or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Now let's look at adding comments so that we can compare and contrast with notes. We have the same three options for adding comments. So on this first one here, let's use the insert menu. So I'm going to go to insert and then click comment. You can actually use the at to tag someone and then they will get a notification such as an email so that they can answer you back or so that they can just see your message in general, whatever it may be. So with this being a recipe book, I'm going to pretend like I'm tagging my husband to say, Hey, do you want to do this for dinner? And then I'm going to click comment. So notice it looks very similar to the notes, except that little icon is yellow instead of black, but it's very similar because I can hover and it appears, move away and it hides. Let's repeat that process and this time I'm going to right click and select comment. 
I'm going to pretend like I'm writing another message to my husband. Again, I'm going to tag him and then I'm going to click comment when I'm done. And now you can see again how notes and comments are similar, but also a little bit different based off that little color that you can see. So the black is for notes and then the yellow is for comments. Now comments are really great when you're tagging someone. Now I am just pretending, but when you do it, you will see their email address appear so you can actually pick their account and it will tag them. So here's the main difference. Let's pretend like my husband got the notification that I tagged him in. He can come directly back here to my message that's on this one cell in the entire spreadsheet. That's really nice and really important because when you get a large data set like this on a Google sheet and you ask someone a question, they may get lost. So if you actually tag them on the one location you want them to look at and you put your message there, then you can actually eliminate some confusion. So definitely use that. Here's the thing though, you can't tag people with notes. So if you do want to tag someone, you need to use comments. Another difference is one button and you can see all the comments. Down at the bottom of this sheet, it tells you how many comments are on the sheet and it tells me where they are and it highlights them for me. That's really nice. There's not a single button that reveals all the notes at one time. And the last thing about comments, you can click the check mark to resolve them. So think of comments as action items. They are notes that need some sort of action. And then that task is complete so you can resolve it. So don't worry, all comments forever live up here under the comment menu in the top right. It's definitely important when you want to look back at all the resolved comments, especially if you're collaborating on Google Sheets with someone and this is for some sort of project or larger data set. And speaking of resolving the comments, to get rid of a note, you have to either delete what you have typed in that note and it will disappear, or you have to right click and select delete notes. So one last little thing about notes and comments. Let's watch what happens when I try to copy these cells where there was a note and where there was a comment. When I paste it, notice that the note came with it and the comment did not. And now when I try to delete everything, the note stays behind. So now I have to go back in and either delete the text out of the note or right click and select delete notes. So that's the difference between notes and comments. Okay, everyone. So that's notes and comments. I want you to think about when you would use notes versus comments. I don't want you to shy away from using notes. They are a very powerful tool that's built into sheets. Did you notice how I can have such clean data in Google sheets without my notes in a column cluttering up the page? That's really nice. And it's really important when making sheets presentable, organized and clean. But comments are also nice when I need some sort of action, especially if I'm collaborating with someone. So go play around with these two features and then meet me over in the next module. And P.S. Get that recipe book filled up for our future modules. See you soon. This video is part of our complete course on Google Sheets. To watch the complete course, click over there. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And to watch additional videos, click over there.